if you're not changing your personality, did you hear that? I just said, if you're not changing your personality, who says that? I say that and I'm going to tell you why. Whatever it is, something altered your personality and now you're seeing through the filters of this altered personality due to these traumas and disappointments and upsets that you've had. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In my last video I was talking about why change is so important right now. If you haven't seen that video you can check it out here. You could watch that one first before you move on to this one because this is going to be a series. Besides the point that change is important right now, change is actually mandatory right now. You don't have a choice but to change. The choice that you do have is how you change, how much you change, how much you're willing to go with the flow, and how much you're resistant to change, or how much you resist the flow. All of these things that I'm talking about, it will affect you in a way that either life will flow more easily and more manageable, even if you have things that jump in the way, or life will not flow that easily, Instead, it will be difficult, blocks constantly, upset constantly, and that all depends on you and how you deal with things. Change is imminent right now. Change has to happen right now. The way that you know that that's true, just simply by observing the world around us. Life never waits for you. Life is always going to be going, whether you decide to jump in and work with your life or you decide to close your eyes and put the blankets over your head and sleep through life. If you don't participate with life, life passes by, but not participating in life means that you are giving the control and destiny of your life to life to decide for you. You really have to be a player in the game of life in order for things to go the best way for you. If you don't participate in life, then life doesn't participate with you. It just pushes you along. If you're in the way, it'll just push you into another way. Life will always flow in its own flow. And if you are not in the state of flow, you're like a rock. What happens when you see rocks inside of a river? The water will flow right around it. Like the rock will be stuck and water will either be rushing over it, creating like a little waterfall over it or a big waterfall over it, or it'll be going around it and bypassing it. And if you're like the rock just stuck there, and the flow is drowning you, going around you, and all of this stuff is happening around you, but you're staying stuck where you are, it's very uncomfortable. You're seeing things move, but you're not seeing yourself move. First, you have to understand that not only is change important right now, but that you also must be changing right now, whether you want to or not. A lot of people don't like change. They want to keep doing the same things, you have to be a co-creator in your life. What are ways that you instigate change in your life? Some people like to do affirmations. Some people do meditations. Some people like to get healings to move their energy and clear their energy and get guidance. Some people change where they live. Some people change their job. Some people leave relationships or get into new relationships. There's all different ways that people do things to change with the intention of changing. And they do all of these outside things, move, get a new job, get a different relationship, say affirmations, do meditations, whatever it is, take a class. But the one thing that they forget is that you need to change. You yourself need to change. It's not just about doing things on the outside different. Yes, affirmations, meditations, they're really helpful because they help to remind yourself of what you want in your life. And they can shift the energy right away if you're thinking like, oh, I don't have money or I don't have love or I don't have the job I want or I'm not living the life that I prefer or I have all these problems that don't seem to go away or I have all these manifestations that I want but having a problem actually having them in my life and keeping them in my life. Sometimes you may get things and then you don't have things. It's like up and down. That means you're not staying steady with what you're doing to keep things flowing in your life. But that's a, a sidestep, that's another story, but that's an important piece to know. 
But the real thing is that you can do all these things to make shifts and change things in your life. But if you are not changing, if you're not changing the way that you think, the way that you feel, and really important, the way that you believe, the way that you perceive, if you're not changing your personality, did you hear that? I just said, if you're not changing your personality, who says that? I say that, and I'm going to tell you why. Changing your personality is a major part of change, and it is what you need to do to actually make real changes to yourself. So then all the things that you're doing create real ripples of change, and then you see and attain the change that you want in your life. Listen to me, your personality needs to change. I know that sounds weird. Why would I say that? I'll tell you why. Because of the things that we've gone through in our life, from childhood, through living with our families, our parents, our leaders, our bosses, our jobs, our relationship, our thoughts and beliefs will reflect those kind of things. How we perceive the world, how we believe, how we make decisions are all going to be based on your personality, meaning all the things that happened to you that were good, bad, ugly, traumatic, difficult, suffering, even happy, like all of those things have created your personality. So say you had some kind of really scary thing happen to you. Someone did something to you that traumatized you or a relationship that traumatized you or a boss or a job or a teacher or some kind of natural disaster traumatized you. That trauma created an energy in you from how you dealt with it, what worked, what didn't work, what you didn't do better, what you could have done better, how you felt hopeless, how you felt that something was dominating you and pushing you to do something you didn't want to do, how you felt unsupported, how you felt like you were all alone in the thing, all the things that come when something traumatic happens to you. That gets encoded into your energy and it affects your personality. Have you ever seen when something happens to someone and you say, that person has never been the same ever since that happened? It could be that someone left them, someone died. It could be you don't even know why, but you just notice they've never been the same since this time. Something happened, and ever since then, they've been different. Something traumatic happened inside of them to change their personality. And we're changing our personalities all the time, depending on what happens to us and how well we manage that. And when we are approaching life from an altered state, meaning you weren't born with that necessarily, you might have been born with some of it. You had these traumatic events as you were living this lifetime that you didn't have before that changed the way you see things, changed the way you do things, change the way you either believe or don't believe in things. Some people say, how could God do this? This person was so amazing, or how would God let me get hurt like this? And you might turn against God, okay? That's just one example. Maybe you depended on someone that you thought was your support system. You turned to them in a time of need and they were too busy, weren't available to help you for whatever reason. And you feel so alone, like, wow, I can't believe like I had to deal with this all alone. Like that the people I really trusted and thought that were my support weren't even there for me. That all affects you. And so then you might start not trusting these people. You might stop loving God. You might stop believing in yourself. You might stop believing in having relationships because you've been hurt so much. You might start thinking that you were never intended to have all the money that you need to support yourself or have what it takes to have a thriving business or a thriving relationship or a healthy body or healthy children. Whatever it is, something altered your personality and now you're seeing through the filters of this altered personality due to these traumas and disappointments and upsets that you've had. And until you change those personalities that hinder you, that block you, usually it, it's things that affect your ability to trust, your ability to have faith, your ability to have confidence, your ability to feel supported, your ability 
to succeed. Like your ability has some lack in it due to some traumatic thing that made you feel that way. And it's justified that you might feel that way. We all go through that. I've had times where I remember when I was leaving my long-term relationship and basically he said to me, you should leave. And I said, that's a good idea. And I turned around and went and I was calling my friends to say, can you come and help me pack my stuff right now and put it in storage because I'm leaving. I called several of my close friends and several of them said, I'll be right there. And one of them said, sorry, I'm at a barbecue. I was so shocked. I was so blown away by that. And all of my sisters didn't even bother to respond. Like I didn't get through, but I left them messages, but they never even responded. And they never even asked after, like, what happened? Are you okay? Did you get your stuff done? They didn't care at all. I was like blown away because the people that I called obviously were people that I thought would show up for me when I needed help the most because I certainly would show up for any of these people, right? But what I do and what they do, they're different things. Just because I would show up, that doesn't mean they're going to show up, which was obvious they didn't. So for a long time, I didn't have trust in these people that couldn't be there for me when I needed them most. And I backed off of the relationship. I didn't care about talking to my sisters for years. I moved to Egypt and they had a little dinner for me before I left, but I felt really upset about that. And um, even when I was in, in Egypt, they never like asked me, how are you? Like they never emailed me or called me or checked in on me, none. And I really felt like they didn't care. So when I moved back to the United States a year later, I didn't even move back to California. I moved to a completely different state because why? I didn't have anything to go back to. I didn't have a relationship. I, I'd left the relationship. I didn't have uh, my family that seemed to care. So why bother? And that friendship, it took me a long time to even want to care about being around her or trusting her again because I just was so blown away that she said she was at a barbecue. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, it affected my ability to feel safe, affected my ability to feel like I could depend on people that I thought were the people that I would always be able to depend on. Now, over the years, that's been healed. And I have found that these people that weren't there for me, now they are the people that are there for me. They show up for anything. When I went through that big hurricane thing, man, they stepped right in. When my one of my best friends, I, died, they stepped in. They are my rock now. So it's amazing how life can change. And if someone does hurt you like that, like if somebody doesn't show up for you and it's shocking to you that it didn't and it affects your relationship, it's normal it would affect your relationship. I mean, it took years for things to change, but always have in your mind, people can change, things can change, like this can heal. We went through rocky times throughout the years because of other things, but I mean, in a big way, they came through for me last year. I couldn't believe the support I got. I was just so shocked. And they were saying things like, that's what family does. And they kept saying it. So it was so weird to me because I thought, yeah, that is what family does. But that's not what you did when I really needed you before. That's why for me, it was just really shocking. But good. That shows that they have shifted for whatever reasons and whatever ways. And it shows I shifted in whatever reasons and whatever ways. But we would all have to be open to change in order to shift like that. So it is valid when people hurt you, but it doesn't mean you have to allow it to make a personality change that now is going to make you suffer. So you have to look at yourself and look at the traumas you've had, the upsets you've had, the things that have made you not trust anymore. It doesn't matter what you don't trust. You could not trust family, you could not trust a man, a woman, you could not trust the government, you could not trust your ability to make money, you could not trust your abilities to succeed, you could not trust your health, you could not trust a lot of things, but those things that you have a problem trusting, that's a really good place to start saying, okay, how did that trauma 
that created this distrust in me? How has that affected my perceptions, how I see things, how I make decisions, and how I perceive life overall? Because it is so important to be able to trust the universe, to be able to trust your higher power, to be able to trust your God, whoever this all that is, is to you. It's so important that you have to have trust in your life because if you don't trust life, if you don't trust your highest power, if you don't trust the universe, it's going to be hard for you to get the things that you want in your life. The things that you feel like you're lacking in your life, it's going to be hard for you to get those things because you have to have trust that it can happen. And if you don't trust the almighty power of your highest power, that it has your back, then how can you move these mountains in your life and get what you want? You have to have that trust. So in order to make a change in your life, to receive change that you really want in your life, you have to change yourself. And that means looking at your personality in the parts of your personality where you're not trusting, where you're lacking something, when, where you're feeling lack in something. Maybe you're feeling lack in love. Maybe you're feeling lack in relationship. Maybe you're feeling lack in money. Maybe you're feeling lack in health. Whatever you're feeling lack in, look at it and see what area in your life are you not trusting associated with that situation that you're lacking? Because when you can address that trust issue and move that out of the way, you can open to trust and then the things that you really want shifted in your life to gain abundance, to feel loved, to feel supported, to feel like you have money flow, to feel like you have good health, whatever it is, you have to shift out that distrust that's associated with that subject. Like, what is it? Was it beliefs you took on from your childhood that you're in lack financially? Is it that you didn't have money growing up? And so you have this lack mentality where you just feel like, you know, you were dealt those cards. You're not one of the people that can have money or make money or be rich. Where are you not trusting life. And maybe you realize that you got some beliefs from your parents that they were in lack. And you know, I don't know how old you are, but like for me, my mom grew up during the depression. She still washes out Ziploc bags and stuff and foil and parchment paper. It drives me crazy. It's like, mom, stop. If you want to wash out Ziploc bags here, and I have like six reusable Ziploc bag containers that are made to reuse and wash. I said, use these so you can wash them and reuse them. Does she do that? No, that's a whole story. But what I'm saying is if you grew up with parents that experienced lack, you know, they had fears. They put you through trauma dealing with lack in your life where you might not have had something because of their lack. The quality of life that you lived because of their lack could have affected you the way that you see things and the way you feel things. You have to be able to look at where you have lost trust, where you have lost faith, or you have lost confidence in your ability to have the things you really want. And when you can look at those things, you can change your personality, meaning you can change the way you perceive things. You can change the way you value things, the way you believe in things, the way you experience things, the decisions you make around things. That is how you make real change in your life to make change in your life. So this was a lot to take in in one video and I could go on in so many different aspects branching off this, but I really want you to just sit with this for a while and think about the things that I have brought here to you today to think about. Because when you can start changing on those levels, that's when the change in your life can happen and shift to better for you. That's when those affirmations are going to work. That's when those meditations are going to work. That's when all of the trust and faith that you try to put out to manifest what you want are going to work. Until you dig a little bit and shift these personality traits that you brought on through trauma, those things are only gonna work so much. 
you have to dig in and change what's in you in order to really change what's around you. It's great you're doing the meditations, the affirmations, all of the things that you do to work on manifesting or seeing changes in your life that you want. But until you do the digging in and change your personality, those things that have traumatized you, you're not going to change enough for all of the things that you're doing to make all the change and shift that you want in your life. So start addressing those things and then keep doing the methods you're doing and you are going to boost yourself and increase all of your ability to see what you want in your life and change your life the way you've always wanted to change it. And this was just another video in this series that I'm doing about it's important to know that it's time to change. Please remember to watch my video from last week. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification so you know when I put up new videos because the videos ahead are all going to be about what you can do to keep shifting in order for these changes that you want in your life to be realized for you to actually experience the big changes that you've always wanted. And always remember, I can help you move through things. I can help you see things that maybe you're not seeing and help you to understand them and how to get rid of them once and for all. So if you ever want some one-on-one -on -one sessions, get a hold of me at my website and we can work on that together. I also have a spiritual mentoring group that meets twice a month online that is also very helpful and supportive and can help you trailblaze through your issues and really get what you want. So reach out if you want the extra support and we can talk about what would be best for you. So stay tuned for more videos and I hope this has been helpful. Please comment below what you think about this, what things that you need to work on shift, what tools do you use to help change yourself? Because as you discuss in the comments, other people can read and that helps everyone too. Let's create a supportive community here discussing these videos and that will support this process for you and everyone else too. So I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day.